Brian Powell of Iron Far here with Deidre Kermanson before the 2017 Trans Grand Canaria. How are you, Deidre? Great. Yeah? Uh, you, uh, you won this race last year. You were second the year before. You can't really improve on that. Uh, what are your goals for this weekend? Uh, my goal is to win. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, as you said, I won last year. It's, uh, yeah, I have, it feels like I have... Uh, everything to lose but uh, still I have, think I have everything to win yeah yeah I think uh, I still uh, can improve uh, a lot of uh, faces in uh, in this race which I can uh, run faster this year than I did uh, last year uh, so uh, it's not just uh, to be at the top of the podium but also to to do a good race uh, and I think I can improve from uh, from last year um, what makes you think you can improve it? Have you changed your training over the winter or were there just places where you made mistakes or did not feel well last year during the race? I think I had more problems with uh, with uh, with eating and drinking uh, last year. Uh, I think I've sorted that out so uh, that will definitely be better this uh, this year and also one year more training yeah. <laughs> than last year. <laughs> Uh, one year older, but uh, yeah, I'm still uh, very young, at least I feel so. I mean, I, th I remember talking to you, I think it was last year, either before or after the race, and you talking about how you just very slowly increase your training, mm -hmm. the intensity or the quality each year, and that you've just been trying to work for many years to get slightly better. Yeah. Do you feel like you've done that again? Yeah, I have. Uh, and I don't... Uh, uh, I don't uh, do that. Uh, it, it just happened, you know. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, so last year, I I thought I've been doing the training well and I've been training a lot. But uh, this year, I've been doing everything uh, the same, but just a little bit better, a little bit more. Well, that's excellent. Um, on the nutrition side, what specifically did you change from last year before now? Uh, I have uh, stopped drinking coke, so no coke, um, yeah, <laughs> no, actually my stomach feels uh, yeah, really good about that, um, and I have, uh, I, I'm using another type of gel, um, so, so a little bit less uh, sugar, mm -hmm. uh, actually more water, um, and uh, and uh, I try to eat uh, yeah more more sugar at the at the end of the race. Uh, last year I started early, and also with coke early, and now I'm gonna yeah take it a little bit more slow on that part. And at the end of the race, you'll have more sugars and any coke, or uh, no, will you stick to your no, still no coke. Yeah, no, I'm gonna stick to to water uh, and some uh, some sport drink, uh, and mostly and hopefully gel uh, gel all the way. Now, how did you discover that? Because that's just sort of what people do. It's kind of like not tradition, but just. Yeah. No, the, I think the, the the difficult part the part with ultra running is. Is, I mean, you can't you can't go out uh, uh, to do uh, training runs like uh, 70 kilometers. So I mean, every race is, yeah, it, it's uh, it feels like a training also uh, mm -hmm. combined to uh, a competition. Uh, so I mean, during uh, yeah during a lot of races, I just figure out that uh, yeah, this is the best for me now and. <laughs> Perhaps if you ask me one year from now, it's uh, something else. I don't know. You may just be drinking only coke yeah. the entire race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, in, in the U.S., we say ultra running is an experiment of one, but each race is kind of its own experiment for you. Yeah, I mean, I have. Yeah, I have. Of course, I have some long runs, but uh, yeah, it's it's hard to it's hard to you know train to uh, yeah to run for ten hours, you know and. Uh, so, so uh, yeah, it's uh, it's just a competition which I can compare to. Now, do you have anything else you're, you know, purposefully experimenting with this race? Anything new you're trying? Uh, no, actually not. I think I'm going to stick to to the plan uh, which I did last year. Uh, yeah, just try to to keep it going. Uh, yeah, uh, during the night and hopefully have uh, fresh legs at uh, Garonon uh, to to end the race well.
Now, coming from the U.S., I always think of it as a challenge to be ready for a race this early in the season, mm. uh, no matter where you are in the Northern Hemisphere. But you live in Scandinavia, and uh, <laughs> it can't be easy. But I know I see you and Jonas Bud and others racing. How, how do you get through the winter? <laughs> um, yeah, it's, uh, it's really cold and dark in Norway. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, to go here to Gran Canaria is uh, yeah, it's, uh, really, really nice. Um, I do a lot of treadmill uh, yeah. these uh, these uh, months, uh, and I, I I really enjoyed it because um, I run a lot uh, alone uh, in the woods, uh, in the forest, uh, mountains uh, the rest of the year. So uh, to stay inside some uh, weeks and months uh, uh, is uh, is really nice, and then I also can. Uh, uh, yeah, I can be very specific with uh, with the speed, you know, with the uh, with the incline of the treadmill. So before races like this, I think it's uh, it's a great way to get a lot of elevation. Um, so I combine the elevation uh, and then flat uh, fast elevation flat fast. So yeah, kind of as this uh, yeah, yeah course profile. So. Does your overall does your training look different when you're stuck inside on the treadmill versus when you're, you know, able to just go run in the forest? Is it shorter and faster, or do you try to run fairly similar? Uh, actually, it it uh, depends on my next race. Yeah. So if my next race is uh, uh, Western States, for sure it's more um, it's more flat, uh, or a World Champ 100K. And if it's uh, races like this, uh, it's more uh, yeah, climbing. Yeah, so I also have yeah, workouts where I just uh, walk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can't uh, believe it. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen you walk. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, but so, I mean, that's something you specifically do in the winter? Yeah. Yeah. And not, yeah. That, that's just on a treadmill. Not, uh, mm. yeah, not the rest of the air. Because that probably comes naturally when you're out on trails and hit steep yeah. stuff, yeah. Yeah, and I try not to walk uh, normally when I'm doing a, a training session in the yeah outside. Uh, but you know, in a long uh, competition like this, uh, yeah, you have to walk some parts. And does it uh, feel like a bit like a vacation coming from uh, the Norwegian winter? Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm uh, having my family here. It's a uh, winter holiday yeah. uh, in Norway. So, yeah, I try to combine uh, both things. Uh, and it's nice to be here. It's uh, This is Norwegian summer, really. <laughs> I know I said it to you last year. <laughs> I've when been I in the Norwegian <laughs> summer and it's not this nice. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> but I, I remember, I think it was at Michigan Bluff last year. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and you, you asked me how I felt and I said it was uh, like a typical Norwegian summer and it was like yeah I don't 5 C or something yeah yeah uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is much more moderate we're probably in the 20 degree it's actually yeah. really nice out yeah if it's yeah. like this on the weekend it could be a fairly fast day I hope so yeah 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 especially with you out there yeah uh, hopefully yeah, yeah. <laughs> well good luck yeah thanks a lot <laughs>